Hey Omar, this video is for you. I believe Mama is making some smoked ribs today, um, lamb ribs. So let's have a look at what I'm doing today. So got some ribs, made some nice diamond shapes on there so that the fat runs in between the meat when it's cooking. There you go, these are the ribs. Got a couple of pieces of those. And I've also got some lamb chops here as well that are gonna go on as well when I've skewered. Made a diamond, and this has got the fat on it, so we call it the cap. So, even you go to the butchers, you've got to say, Keep the cap on, please. Okay, in a moment, we're going to see what's going to happen next. See you then. Okay, so we're on to part two. We've just dried up the meat, patted it down with some um, kitchen towel, and so on. And now, what we're going to do, we're going to grab some salt, and we're going to do a dry rub salt on this. Yeah, so it's pretty much dry. Got to put lots of salt on and then we're going to let it kind of stand as well for a bit okay before we start adding any spices or anything else on these are going to be amazing okay okay see you a bit okay guys we're going to be making the rub now so here's some mixed herbs and some black pepper and we've got cayenne and garlic and literally just going to mix this up so we get a nice rub that's going to go over the meat and hopefully help form a really nice crust. Okay, time to get the rub on. So, literally just sprinkling this over the top. I'm going to rub it on with my hands after. And some onto this bit as well. Just get a nice rub on there. And just gonna do some more. Okay, let's get the barbecue doing. So literally, we're not gonna be using kind of newspapers and fanning heat and all that kind of stuff. Um, very simple, blowtorch, fire lighter, and some pincers to hold that with. And on this side, we've literally got this chimney. This is kind of like six pounds of Amazon, something like that. You fill it with your coal, and literally what we're gonna do is um, light the fire lighter and literally just put this over the top and it's as simple as that so let's get this going and then just once that's going pick up the chimney put it over the top and that's literally all I have to do. And what happens is the heat kind of get pulls up from the top um, and the coals within the next 10 minutes, 15 minutes or so will be lit. Okay, see you then. So, gonna need some wood for smoking and usually fruity wood or wood that comes from fruit trees is great. And this is a cherry tree and I'm just gonna take some chunks from here and then we should be able to get a nice cherry wood kind of flavor on the ribs okay so we've got a coal going straight from the chimney that's perfectly right and if you notice i'm only putting the grill on one side so we don't get direct heat let's put our ribs on there we go slab as well and we'll now kind of leave that for about two hours or so oh almost forgot to add the cherry wood chunks as well so this will produce a significant amount of smoke and um, we're gonna let this flavor just get in to the meat okay, make sure your vents are open at the back so it kind of creates that airflow for the smoke to leave. We're still just under 150 and let's just take a sneak peek and see how things are going.
Okay, so that's going quite well. And you can see where the crisscrosses are, where the fat is kind of going down into the meat. Works really well. Okay, let's give us some more time. I've added a brick in there just to kind of regulate the heat and um, so we don't get any more indirect heat or direct heat um, going there. And you can see the fat gripping um, through there as well onto the brick. So we're still going, it's come up to about two hours. We've now, I've now kind of covered it with foil so that we kind of keep the moisture in. Added some more fuel, some more coal and um, we're going to kind of keep going for another half an hour 45 minutes or so okay we're going to open this up and let's just get this out and give it a bit of a glaze um and see where we're where we're up to so, let's just put that here just going to go back in um, and okay. Fantastic. Okay. So I added some um, chops and other other kind of pieces of lamb in there as well. So we can get a nice uh, glaze. Just get that brushed over with a barbecue sauce. And then this is going to go back in um, for another 30 minutes or so. Just let the, the sticky sauce stick on this. Okay, so that's almost two hours and 45 minutes. I'm going to open this up and let's bring out one of the pieces of ribs that we've got here. So we can see this kind of been smoked and cooked pretty well. Let's have a look at if we can kind of cut this and see what it's like inside. So let's have a look. And that closer. So you can see the fat and the meat right there and the juices still wet that's going to taste pretty nice 